When it comes to executive functioning in the home, what parents need to be aware of is that your child with ADHD is going to do whatever they can, often unintentionally, to make sure you as the parent do not maintain your authority, are not firm, and do not keep your boundaries. So we have to remember, unlike school, home is an unstructured environment where instead of being around teachers and staff members, we are around our parents, where we have this unconditional love factor that makes it very difficult to fully comprehend the boundaries of the relationship. So the ADHD brain, which is often conflict-seeking, is also often trying to feel a sense of control over the environment in any way possible. So unlike parenting more of a neurotypical child that is not so conflict-seeking, it will be very hard to be firm and keep those boundaries. But we have to remember, what is firm? Firm doesn't mean you're yelling or being super authoritarian. You are simply just stating, my answer is no, that is not an option for you. You don't have the availability to do that. That's it. Take the time to be upset. You're allowed to be upset because I'm the parent and I said no. Take your time to feel your emotions and come to me when you are ready. But the difficulty here in parenting a child with ADHD is those emotions are going to be so much bigger, most likely so much more dysregulated and more angry and overall more relentless. They are going to last longer and they're going to keep coming at you, keep coming at you until you change your mind and the firmness goes away and all of those boundaries have completely dissipated. And all of the research tells us that these boundaries with authoritative parenting are so incredibly important for raising a child with ADHD. So this is where creating a very clear sense of communication when the child is regulated, explain to them what their options are and what they can do, and also creating very specific visuals that help explain the boundaries so you don't have to do it verbally. You are removing yourself and your voice and your language from the conversation and just using visuals to replace your language. And let's not forget it is incredibly healthy for the ADHD child to be out of the house as much as possible. Get them outside, playing with peers, signed up for various activities, and learning their true talents, learning their strengths, learning their interests outside of what's available to them inside of the home.